Good morning, everybody. Well, it's morning here in South Florida, uh, but once again today we are going to be in Arizona, and I'm going to be talking about another ghost manifestation. Okay, it's a ghost experience, but it was not um, a actual person that I observed, but instead it was what I call ribbons of smoke. That's the title of this video. So I guess today, what video number are we on? Video nine? I think video number nine. Okay, and this is ribbons of smoke. So basically what happened was um, I was in my apartment and like I said in my first video about Arizona, I was looking, um, I was looking out the window and the window looked out onto a parking lot and then beyond the parking lot was 35th Avenue. So underneath my window was a green area with just green grass and my air conditioning just went on, um, but it was a green, green grass. And then, then there was a wall, like I told you, the walls are, you know, ubiquitous there. And so the wall separated the property from the parking lot of the next property, which happened to be a business. And then beyond the wall were um, carports for the business employees and customers to park their cars. And so anyway, I was looking out the window and I don't know why, what drew me to look out the window, why I went to the window, I don't re remember that now. But basically what happened was, um, I looked down and I saw, uh, kind of against the wall, this strange, like, intertwined kind of pattern of thick, like about four inches of gray, just sort of, you know, wound around and probably three feet by three feet. So it was large. And I, I looked at it, you know, and I'm like, that guy is barbecuing again. And he's not allowed to barbecue um, on the property. You're not allowed to barbecue. And so I continued looking at it and then I was like, wait a second. Like it took me a few seconds and I'm like, wait a second. I don't smell anything. I don't smell smoke. I don't smell lighter fluid. I don't smell, <laughs> I don't smell anything. Okay. And so then I realized this is not smoke. This is some type of manifestation of a ghost. And so I continued looking at it and then it just sort of, faded away, right? And then I look, continued watching the area, like just looking down at the area. Then I saw like what I would describe as paw prints. And then, but I didn't see a dog or a cat and the paw prints were kind of big. So they would have been maybe each paw print, maybe four inches or something. I mean, it was large enough that I could see it from looking down on the grass, okay? And so they were little paw, you know, paw prints of an animal walking, and it was just one paw print, then another, then another, then another, and then the other paw print would disappear, the other paw prints, and then they, they would continue like that, and then it just faded away. So the, I believe that that was a manifestation of some type of ghost, but I have no idea why it was manifested in that particular pattern. Now, the only thing that kind of, like, it, it was like a pattern that, I mean, it wasn't a pattern, okay, but it was like a, like, you've seen patterns like this in other things, in other like logos and stuff where the pattern is kind of like, kind of curly and then, you know, sort of like, uh, 
a sort of a like a loops like loops okay loops kind of arranged into a pattern like to form some type of a logo but this was bigger I mean this was like three feet by three feet at least and it was just a whole bunch of these wide ribbons just kind of curling around and and going in, into this large kind of pattern so that was very strange um, and it faded away so you know I've never heard of this I'm calling it ribbons of smoke because it was gray um, kind of dark gray um, like like gray ribbons like in other words it was gray it, it it was almost like I was looking at a pattern like a drawing and then it just disintegrated and disappeared okay so I don't know what it was I think it was a manifestation of some type um, if any of you have any ideas of what it could have been um, you know feel free to comment down below um, obviously the little paw prints the little paws this little steps was some type of animal um, maybe the ribbons of smoke were some type of person that was standing there um, but I don't know so it was very strange I've never seen anything like it before or since so there you go that's a, a very odd ghost experience that I had that didn't frighten me this was also not in the nighttime this was in the late this was in the evening so this would have been like six or seven o'clock at night but it was still daylight um, so it was not at night and um, so it was something that was peculiar was kind of strange but I wasn't frightened um, I just like I said usually with these ghost experiences it's like you see something and then you're like thinking it's something else okay like I thought Ugh, that guy is barbecuing again until you say well wait a second I don't smell <laughs> I don't smell anything, right? I don't smell smoke, I don't smell food cooking, I don't smell anything. And then you keep looking and you're like, I'm seeing something supernatural here, something preternatural, something strange, okay? <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you think about this. Thank you for viewing my video and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>